This is a forward trap bowl made in 1943 by Century Sanitary Corporation. I have it hooked up to a standard 4050 tank. Unlike most bolts of this type, this one is a 12 inch rough compared to the 14 inch rough, which is the norm. A local developer used the close coupled version of the same bowl in post World War II housing developments and local shopping centers. One of these was in the restroom of a laundromat. The bowl still had a sticker on the right side Sentry Sanitary Corporation, Mannington, West Virginia. One of these close coupled toilets can be seen on Commode's channel. Search for Forward Trapway Toilet. Note that Commode's toilet bowl and mine are identical, except for the fact that his bowl is for a close coupled tank and mine connects to a wall hung tank with a flush elbow. There is little information online about the defunct Century Sanitary Corporation. What I did find is that it was located in Mannington, West Virginia, the same town where the Bowers Pottery was located. Let's have a closer look at the bowl. This bowl has several manufacturing defects, included fired in specks and a chip that was filled with glaze. They were obviously low cost contractor grade toilets. However, the flush is exceptional. It is strong, the rinse is thorough, and there has never been any hint of a clog. So I'll start out with a flush. You can see how powerful and strong it is. Plus the rinse is excellent. It just covers every 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 uh, inch of exposed surface in the bowl. The tank is filling right now, and I'm showing about 18 pounds of pressure on the gauge. This is my demo tank that I used on my outdoor testing. Uh, you can see the rebuild of that in my video 57. But for this installation, since it's going to be here a while. I refit it with a Corky Quiet Fill and took a genuine antique handle off of another tank. Now a close up. I acquired this bowl from fellow YouTuber Antique Plumbing. He did a thorough clean of the bowl, including unclogging the front rim jets. On his first test, the bowl had a bit of a swirl. Once the jets were cleaned out, the flush became a straight up and down action, similar to my 1926 standard ejecto, only without the spout. Now a close up from the front. Excellent rinsing. Previous testing of this bowl can be found on Antique Plumbing's channel. There are three videos, each beginning with Antique slash vintage century sanitary corp period toilet bowl. Here you will see the flush test that can't be done on a toilet that is installed for regular use. But at this point I'm going to put in eight wads of paper and the toilet will attempt to flush them. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Let's watch what happens. Beautiful. 
the Century Bowl has proven to be as effective as the standard modernists and the 1931 standard ejecto. It's proven to be slightly better than the 1952 Gerber Jefferson. Since I'm really satisfied with this performance and the fact that it really resembles a genuine Pittsburgh potty, that old toilet found in a dark corner of a basement, I'm going to keep it around for a while, perhaps indefinitely. So far, this has been the best installation of this type of toilet in this space, simply for the fact that it is 12 inches rough and gave me more space to work with. That said, this toilet is going to remain here for a while. In the meantime, I'll conclude this video with a flush of the 1943 Century Sanitary Corporation Bowl. Thank you for watching.